Welcome to the Magic Sponge. I'm Rob Beckett, got Ian Smith there and the gaffer, Hello. but I'm still still employed. Just about, mate, yeah. Yep. Exactly right. Well, I don't know, I've got something that's going to cheer you up. Have you? Our guest today. Have, yeah, yeah, yeah. One of, I, I, arguably, I'd say one of the most popular guests we've ever had. Yeah. On a starting George to... Jordan's back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh God. God. <laughs> so out of all of them. When anyone's but never say it to his fucking face. Oh, my God. He's such an intimidating man. And I sit down with the Godfather. When anyone ever goes, oh, what, what's your podcast? What's your... Okay, just uh, swerve the Joe Jordan one. The rest are good. Um, no, the most pop- one of the most popular guests we've ever had, Tony Warner. All right. Hello, Tony. How are you, mate? Down from Liverpool, um, very popular last time. You had you actually come with notes last time. You've come again with more notes, and you couldn't yeah. even get through <laughs> all your stories last time. And oh yeah, there was and, that many. And you got a boat. You got an extra fee. You've got a bonus. You uh, negotiated your way up for extra fee, didn't you? Of course, did yeah. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Second appearance fee. Got when when poor old Joel got shook in. down in the corridor. <laughs> yeah, love it. Um, Ian, have you got um, you've got a chant for Tony to welcome him back? You've have got. I? T- <gasps> yeah. Who said that? You fucking you caught me off guard. You know? <laughs> it's like you have to come up with one on the spot. Well, like I think well, the little challenge we've done is you've got to come up with a chant for Tony by the end of the episode. Are you happy with that? All right, I can do that. Yeah. What um, you, you had your list of stories, Tony, and yeah, um, you didn't get through all of them. Is there anything you want to kick off with, or something you want to tell? Or well, do you know what? I, I, I what lost, have you got written? I, I, I lost it, didn't I? I lost, I lost the the, the pad, and then I just I knocked a few things um, down on the on the chain on the way down. Yeah. But then I've got edited last time, so. You got, yeah, but what have you got? Ri- what's the top? Can you give us the the headline? <laughs> give us the, the, the bullet point headlines. Number one. Oh, well, n- number one was you, you know Steve Arkness. Yeah, mm-hmm. Steve Arkness. Steve um, used to be left back. Used yeah. to play for Liverpool. All right. Um, one, like, one of the most horrible men around. Why Funny. was he horrible? Man? He was. Oh, he was just kind of. Um, he wasn't very PC. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and that's you two saying that. It's like God knows what you said. <laughs> and he's from. Um, He's from Carlisle, I think. He's from Cumbria. Oh, so yeah. Just, there, it's you know it's mean? Like, ba- have you ever been Barrow in Furness up there? It's one of the most. This where they make nuclear submarines. It's, it's a very tough place. Yeah. Um, you know, I, 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 no, 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 I haven't been there, but yeah, I know what you mean. Very bleak. It just went bleak. You know? I just sort of, it's a tough place. Yeah, I thought like, I had horrible little flashback, like a Vietnam veteran, like a barrel in furnace. How <laughs> many nuclear submarines are they making as well? I don't know, mate. Like, but the, we'll save that for another right. podcast, yeah, yeah. but anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, Steve Arkin. Uh, Steve Arkin's yet, and he was, always, uh, he was always messing around with shit. Pardon? He was always messing around with like, shit, you know what I mean? Human go, shit? Yeah, his own shit, like. <laughs> his own shit, yeah, got a problem. Yeah. Hang, on, he, hang, on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Go on. What, so he'd do a poo and then pick it up? Yeah, and, and like, and what he'd do is... So he'd look through it? No, no, listen, what he would do is, he would like, he'd put it on your handles, it's a, you know, it's an oldie but a goodie. Oh, right, I got but you. But he'd put it on the handles in the hotels. Yeah. And like all the foreign lads, really. Like Norwegians and all that, and they'd have a sense of... Oh, well, because they're a bit more, they're not as <laughs> this is, good with the yeah. banter, they're a bit more serious. Yeah. And just like Dean's got all shake their hands, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I remember there was a there was a place um in Waltham Abbey, that that the hotel yeah. there. Yeah. Like a Hilton or Is it the Grove? Or the Waltham Abbey? No, it's, it's different. It's actually. one of the seats off the motorway, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so I always remember when you go in, you'd have you'd always have sweets, like chocolates, next to the bed. Oh, yeah. no. Like three oh, or four chocolates, no. you know what I mean? So I'd always, like, I'd be, we'd be staying here with like Tottenham and oh, Arsenal oh, West Ham. Oh, God. Oh, God. So I am. I was flying. I was in there with the Macatee. I was flying. I had always scoffed all the chocolates dead quick, right? Oh, so um, this one day, I've walked in and grabbed the chocolates. So bang, one goes in. Bang, next oh, one goes in. No. And then, luckily enough, there was one, it was like, you know, they come like little paper cupcakes, don't yeah, they? They're yeah, they're all done. Yeah. So um, this one would look like it had been kind of like smeared in. <laughs> like like it had been poured in. And, you know, you can, you can expect to see something like that, you know what I mean? And I remember... Just going to like lobber in my mouth and I just pull the paper off. And I can remember going like that. I don't know what give it away. Luckily for him, it was an arse. Oh, just an arse and hanging off the shite. What about the smell? Well, well, I, I got on, I, <laughs> at the same time, I got on the smell. And I'm thinking. Can it go this quick? Arse smell. <laughs> quicker than that. <laughs> it's like arse smell. Fucking hell. Yeah, go on. So I've seen it. I've just thought, like, oh, 
God, like imagine that wearing my mouth. And I've just turned around, I looked and at the will. door, and Achris was just had his head around the corner. Oh, and, oh, he, he, and he's burst off laughing. Best no roof. Oh, it was horrible. Oh. So I've legged after him, and I'm him just shouting, I'd have fucking killed you. If I'd have had that, I'd have fucking destroyed you. you know I mean? <laughs> and I can see him just running down the corridor, screaming, laughing. <laughs> do you know what I mean? And, and I was thinking to myself afterwards, I thought, now you'd have had that shit, that story's following you around forever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> forever. So I remember saying to him afterwards, I said, the fucking hard I'd have had to give you. To appease myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Being ruthless, mate. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know that's sticking with me. You, you, you've got it. You, like, you, you've just got to be following you as well. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, that was our yeah. yeah. But I think there was something wrong with him. He had like a name. I reckon. Get an airy arse. If he shaved his arse, he'd have ended up with a beating, wouldn't he? Because I've had the shite. But he, um, he had like, he used to call him Zipped. He had a big scar across his head there, oh, right? Wow. Like, he had a bit of a lobotomy or something. I don't know. Okay, but, um, I, yeah. He can't be right, can he? He's not right. Also, how quick was he to fix him in there? Do a quick shit, smear it in before you. In the check in time to get it in the room. I know, He's unbelievably quick. I, I can't, Could he like, just shit on demand? Hey? You can just like shit, dude. bang. Yeah, because you've got to get like a little him? bit of shit <laughs> or, or break a bit off of a full shit. What's well, he doing? No, What's well, his process? I reckon he's probably had a full shit because he's going to use it throughout the, throughout the course of the trip. <laughs> oh, okay, he's kept it. Away, this. <laughs> little <laughs> nuggets of fruit everywhere. Yeah. Like, oh, I'll save them oh. for later on. Oh, I remember he, um, he watched his name. I think he, we, were, we were playing away once um, in Russia and he shit. He, shit, he think he's shit in Stan's. Um, bed, or he put put it under the pillow or something. The Stan cut him off, and then Stan got him back. Stan laid. I, I can I don't know what I can remember looking at it now. Right, it was like proper solid, dead long, <laughs> dead thick. Like a, like you could have almost picked it up like that bottle like that, and it was just in Arkansas <laughs> Louis Vuitton. <laughs> 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 in his wash bag. His wash bag. Yeah. Sitting on top of his dance wax. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, I remember that. Just go, look what he's done, look what he's done. I remember, like, he showed he's laughing, like, you know what I mean? He didn't give a fuck. He was laughing, and it was just solid. He was like a big false one. Just stinking all <laughs> <laughs> Oh, great story. First time oh. he kicked his day up. Nice solution, that. Oh, lovely. Oh. Come on, what's the second one? It's great. Jimmy, we've got something, um, got something about, no, about another you story that we've read about. This is so. There's a match report has been written online of a well, Kingstonian match, and they've written it like a play. Like these people, like it starts with, "Oi, oi, guys, where you been? It's six p.m. on a Saturday night, and you've only just got here." They're like chatting, but okay. so this is what they say about the ball. What was it on? Where did you find it? This is on like Kingstonian FC's website, isn't it? Oh, Proper right. official thing. Okay. So this is them talking about the match. Um, so they talk about the only fools and horses when um, Del Boy falls through the, um, oh, no, the bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so he goes, exactly. Well, mate, I saw something funnier than Del Boy falling through the bar. No, you didn't. Mate, Bullard, is there in his skinny jeans and designer coat? He kicks a ball and falls over right onto his bum and gets mud on his Dolce & Gabbana. <laughs> oh, mate. I had a nightmare. <laughs> <didn't you? laughs> oh, don't. And Joel, Joel's told me that he heard that someone has said that like they were there and that when you went down she shouted, Me Dolce and Gabbana! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I um, was having a nightmare for 10 minutes. I was losing my head and sent her off done sat. And the ball's there, the ball's by the dugout. They're still playing. I just remember running up, volleyed the ball against the fence. But my standing foot's gone, isn't it? <laughs> Remember feet in here, I'm thinking, oh no, where am I going to land? Oh, straight on my back, I look around, the other bench are crying, my bench are crying. <laughs> D&G's had it. I'm like, what was it, no. a D&G coat? Um, it ain't really, but I just made out it was. And it's like sheepskin, but it's just absolutely sheepskin. caked. Oh, what, a sheepskin caked. coat? Caked. It's like, is it a sheep? Yeah, it's suede. Yeah, suede like the the big jacket. Inside, yeah. it's like, it's a lovely coat. Oh, and it's ruined? Oh, yeah. It's oh. caked. And it was like... I just you just have to laugh, don't you? But at the same time, I was like, I didn't want to be there. It's like, oh, get me out of here. But it was, yeah. And that's, you lost it, that game. Is that it was there. It was funny yeah. at the time. Yeah, there's no, there's no footage of it though. And we, it's one nil Dan as well. It's just mm. it's there no might footage? be footage because we film our game, so it might have just crept in. But I was they'll Dan probably edited it. that bit out. Like that. Hopefully, <laughs> yeah. we'll get Joel to contact Liverpool and try and find it's it. It's one of them you just had to laugh. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> Tony and Jimmy, you um, last time we didn't really speak about you used to um, play on the same team. Did we not? No, you used to play, we didn't speak about it at all. No. There must be some stories then. Well, we you know, played. Did no, you have a fight with someone while you were at Fulham? Betty. Oh, that was funny. Oh. Was you, was you <laughs> that, that, was that was the best ever, that. What that was, was it? Brilliant. Oh, listen. 
This is only funny. This, 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 this is one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I remember we were uh, saying it, weren't we? I remember it was. I remember it was lashing down with rain, and um, it was when Roy was the manager. Yeah. So Jimmy's hanging around with his um, his little um, sidekick Murphy, aren't you? Hey. So he's, um, they're all on the same team: Murphy, Jimmy, and Birdie. Now, I can't remember. Is this Chris Bird? Chris, Chris Bird, yeah. Chris Bird, yeah. So, like, Bird, hasn't closed someone down or something, another. So, Bird and um, and Jimmy are arguing. And I think I think Murphy's giving it, fucking tell him, Jimmy, do you know what I mean? Or, or he's having a go with Bird. Probably the snake. Murphy's well. <laughs> 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 the snake. Oh, proper. Python. <laughs> 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 oh, biggest snake I've ever met in Philly, but go on. <laughs> so anyway, Jimmy goes to bed, he goes like, fucking pick him up or whatever, blah, blah, blah. So you end up going like face to face, don't you? Yeah. So Jimmy, being fucking soft, like, like fucks him <laughs> off and pushes him, but doesn't push him far enough away. If you're going to shove someone, <laughs> yeah. get them out of your range, you know what I mean? <laughs> I did, I'll run no, off. No, no, no. You didn't, I'll, I'll tell you why I didn't run off. You've, you've pushed him and he's kind of just stood there and you've gone to turn away. And as you've turned away, he just lashed out at you with a foot, That's right. caught you right up between your legs, like That's coming right. up yeah, behind, yeah, yeah. hitting the plums. And <laughs> as you turn t- into one, isn't yeah, it? as you turn, so what he's done is he just kicked you and swung for you. But as he's caught you up, up the up the bollocks, you turned and he's gone bang. <laughs> like you couldn't even see it coming. Could I think you? I did now, did I? No, lucky enough, but you know you, you, didn't, you didn't stand up too fucking solid though. <laughs> <laughs> I went, oh, that. <laughs> I've really got you round here tonight. Oh, man. And I can remember you just staggering back and staggering back, and I'm thinking, don't go down, don't go down, don't go down. <laughs> but it was like that Robbie Savage one. And you were going, and you must have gone about, about five yards. Yeah. He caught, <laughs> caught you quite well, didn't he? And you fucking, you've, you've half gone, you've, you've, you've just about recovered, haven't you? Yeah, just. So then. Obviously, you know, Bird knows what he's doing because he gets a bit of distance between you. So I mean, fucking hit you that hard, you go flying over there, right? And then I remember everyone jumping in. And Birdie's kind of standing there, and you were going berserk, and everyone's trying like you know hold your back, and you've looked down at your nose, your nose is fucking, your nose is bleeding. See blood in that. Yeah, and I remember just standing there going fucking hell, it's like gone off, do you know what I mean? And loving it, <laughs> sick of <laughs> <going. laughs> Yes, here we go. This is what I'm here for. Someone shit on him. Come on, Jim, you gonna take that? Get out of here. You've just gone for him, haven't you? But you're trying to get through about three or four people, and you're going you. Gonna fucking kill you, gonna do this, gonna do that, you whatever. So Birdie's kind of just standing there, like, fuck it, I've hit him now, like, I've got to kind of take what comes my way, do you know what I mean? So I remember, you, it's like if you're trying to get out your clothes, you know, you're, trying, like, you're, like, you're, you're, you're launching through people. And then I remember, I remember you're trying to go low, because you couldn't get, you couldn't get, <laughs> <laughs> you're trying to get through people's waist and all just that, any right? way you can get to them, yeah, you yeah. Go, oh, God, but, then, yeah. but then the best bit ever, right? You, you can't. You, you jump up down like a jack in a box. And I remember you took your boots off, and you yeah. stood there with your boots. And it was, I just thought he's like a bird on a Saturday night. What are you? <laughs> and you don't get a fuck. And you lean over people, and Birdie you as some buds. Birdie just standing there looking at you. <laughs> and then I thought to myself, it was that wet. I thought if you've got like one I'm just trouble, one yeah. sock on and like on a boot and it starts kicking off you're slipping over do you know what I mean <laughs> but, but you didn't think of that nah. <laughs> but obviously you know you, oh, you, you no, know, that's the last gone. thing I'm thinking yeah. <laughs> so then Roy Hodgson just goes right saying and off everyone get in now it was kind of late on it's probably like yeah, about yeah. 20 minutes ago he goes right that's it now everyone get in so she all goes in now so then Birdie kind of goes in and Birdie's kind of like oh you can tell he's thinking to himself oh like I'm a bad dog you know what I mean I'm like, like I'm in a dog house now so Jimmy kind of walks in the fridge. Jimmy's fucking dead. Her nose was like round here, wasn't it? <laughs> so then I remember going in getting changed. And then I remember going to the shower. And then it all kind of died down. It was about 20 minutes later. And I full him. Every, every no, everyone there. thinks he's died down, but I still like that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> I'm yeah, like, nah, the I'm nice. having it. This is classic, wasn't it? <laughs> so then I caught the shower or the toilet or something like the shower area. And there's this big long corridor, isn't there? And then we come out at the same time, and he just comes out, and I remember his nose, it was like that fucking coke can, it was getting big, <laughs> and it was just red, and it was, it was throbbing, you know what I mean? So was, I just looked at him, and just burst out laughing, didn't like. So he comes up to me now, and he's walking up, and you can imagine, like, when you get a kid feeling sorry for himself, like, kicking stones up the street, and like, <laughs> like that, kind of his head's swallowing around and all that. So I'm just sitting there, I'm sorry, I'm standing there laughing, right? So he goes, he goes, where's Birdie now? I said, he's in there, he's in the treatment room, which was like, just there, wasn't it? Do you remember that? He went where about to see it. I said, he's on the fucking, he's on the treatment table, he's just lying there. He said, um, he said, honestly, Tone, 
what would you do? And I said, if it was right now, mate, I said, I'd fucking fly in there and just fucking set upon him. So that, that, that's what I'd do. I said, <laughs> Good he, solid advice. Yeah. I said, if you didn't know, I said, I can understand, you, you, you're mad, you know what I mean? You're mad. He goes, yeah. <laughs> I'm not exactly what I said. <laughs> <laughs> to this point, what I'm not exactly what I said. What did he say to you? You tell us. <laughs> <laughs> I know one bit of the line for, I can't have another one on here. <laughs> He goes, what am I going to do with him? He goes, I'm going to fucking drag him out of his house. He said, I'm going to burn his nose off with a blowtorch. <laughs> and I went, and I went, well, what if he doesn't let you? He goes, I'll have loads of fellas with me, though. <laughs> You're being serious. Oh, he, oh, he was fuming. So I, I'm telling you, he's yeah, now. I oh, said, fucking the lad, oh, I don't know where he got it from, I'll never forget it, right? <laughs> And then he said to you, then I said to you, I said, you know what, mate? I said, he's from Belfast, he's a tough kid, he's going to open like a war zone, do you know what I mean? So he's not fucking particularly scared of anything, I should imagine. Because he, he wasn't very big, but he was a hardy character, wasn't he? He was yeah, a bit yeah, fiery yeah. and that. Yeah. So then um, he said, he said, do your favourite soul. He said, he said, go in there and stand by bed. No, right? I, I remember this. He's getting a massage. You know when you're getting a massage, you put your, your head, head in the hole. Yeah. Do you remember? Oh. Yeah. So he couldn't. He couldn't see me coming Uppercut. or nothing. He's getting a message. Do you remember? I can't remember. Yeah, I can't remember. Do you remember? I remember just lying oh, on wait, chum, chum, chum. Do me a favour, but go on, go on. He says to me, do us a favour, right? He says, <laughs> um, he says, go in there and stand by him, right? And he said, and I'll come flying in. And I'll just get stuck into him. And if he starts getting the better on me, you just grab him. And, I and went, he went, no, I can't do that. I went, what? You can't do that. Who's mate, are you? Yeah. I said, I can't do that. I said, it's like an ambush. And yeah. I said, I'll tell you what, mate, if someone done that to me, no matter who, 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 who was after yeah. me, the fellow who was standing there, I'd be after him badly for getting involved. Yeah. Yeah. I said, they can't do it. I said, do you know what, mate? I said, just do it now. I said, because you can't do it tomorrow. Yeah. I said, tomorrow it's gone, and then you're the baddie then. But if you do it now, people still think his head's gone. Um, but he fucking just melted and went back to the changing room. It's probably the right time. Right, we had a guy in the changing yeah. room. Yeah. We had hey. another ding dong in the changing room. Oh, yeah, look yeah. there, yeah. There's, there's, there's no confirmation by that, there was there. <laughs> He's when, such a when, prick. When, when, <laughs> was there another row? Yeah, it went in the change room. Oh, after you got out of the massage um, place? Yeah, I just couldn't let it die. I was getting dry and he was there and I just went for him again. He cracked me again on the nose. <laughs> <laughs> went for him. Punch, I missed him. I've done, as I've come up, he's gone, dunk! I've got fucking bastard again. <laughs> and I tried to grab him and then Jason Poe, remember the physio? He's mm. coming behind. Where's he grabbing? Straight across the bugle again. The bugle the next day. I'm like, it's like that. It's, it's like a big Roman. It's not small one. It's not been punched. No. <laughs> like that. Honestly, it was horrible. Oh, but that was that, hell. man. Hey, yeah. do, you remember, do you remember when we were on the coach? Hang on, it ain't about me, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. The peanut. Yeah. Yeah. We were on the coach but I light. copped it. And, uh, <laughs> with, uh, this is after the, the, uh, the incident. You know that was, didn't you? I don't want to snake a whole snake. Trust in me. <laughs> so, me and Jimmy and Murphy are sitting like, on, on the table, aren't we? And Birdie's like on the table a little bit further up the coach. And um, and we got these big Brazil nuts. Like, you, you give you all like the healthy fucking food, don't you? You know that. So got these Brazil nuts, that, right? So, Jimmy's sitting there facing Birdie. Birdie's facing backwards. Is this a few weeks after the fight? Yeah, yeah, it must have been a few, maybe a month or yeah. whatever. A couple of months, yeah. So then, everyone's throwing nuts around and all that. And then Murphy <laughs> threw a big Brazil nut right up there. He's, right. he's a kip. He's a kip, Bear right? He's a kip. He's asleep, yeah? Yeah. But right. it hits him right on the fuck. No, right Is on the bone, nose. Man? And you could just dare like a... <laughs> his nose, right? And you're thinking, that's it, that, you know what I mean? So, but I'm facing him, innit? Yeah. <laughs> and as it hits him, I'm going, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like that. But that ain't me, so yeah. I'm not. Yeah, love it. Exactly. Sweet. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm like looking back down the aisle and I'm screaming, laughing, right? And Bertie's just, Bertie's fuming, he knows where it's come from. And the one guilty person just went deadpan, didn't he? Yeah. yeah just like shit as cats, just, just sat there like that because he thought, I know Bertie doesn't fucking play games. He's just, he's got stuck into Jimmy a couple of times. So <laughs> it, he could kind of fly up here and give it to me, but he needs to be 100% certain of who it is before he can do that. Yeah. So Jimmy's like that, ah, fucking hell, laughing. So as you can see, Bertie's going, is he taking a piss because because I've had them a scrap I don't care or is it not him yeah. and then I'm laughing and all that Murph's just fucking deadpan in he yeah. and he just give it away yeah. but he wasn't 100% sure either but oh Murphy Murphy shit his keks <laughs> <laughs> he shit his keks yeah. I so wanted him to get out with him to another fight I'd have jumped in and done him but <laughs> didn't happen and, and were you both full on when Glenn Little Glenn Little claimed to be the funniest footballer he said he was, yeah. was Glenn Little I've never heard of Glenn Little 
Have we had Glenn Little on We had him on the show. Yeah, yeah of course. So. Never heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you that funny he is. <laughs> Never fucking heard of him. Who was Glenn Little the... He wasn't that funny when he came on our Who show, was he? Who had the gas story? <laughs> fucking <laughs> kept wobbling on Captain about Captain Longwind. Or something. <laughs> what are you on about? <laughs> we Weirdos. had that good gas story, though. Right well, I, I forgot about that. About that instance. Because Glenn, Glenn Little was in the paper. I remember we were in the changing rooms. And Glenn Little's in the paper and he's got like, I am the funniest player in the Premier League or the league or something. I'm he really f- thinks he's hilarious, <clears throat> doesn't he? Well, he does, yeah. But then, obviously, Jimmy, cause like, like, he, he thinks he's the joker in that. But you two that. are both well, obviously very funny, good at anecdotes and stuff like that. And you know how to tell a story and all that. So it's weird him saying that when you're already in that dressing room. He's obviously done it with a little reaction, isn't he? Uh, Glenn? Yeah. No, no, but you put it in, you put it in, the, in, the, in the paper shows. <laughs> do you know what I mean? He didn't know that you were going to kind of um, yeah. hear it or read it or whatever. <clears throat> but, of course he did. But he was like kind of. Obviously, like the, the, he'd all caught in the changing rooms, you know what I mean? Those acting a goat and all that. So everyone turned around to Jimmy, going, Yeah, Jimmy, look at Glenn Little. He's <laughs> <laughs> the funniest thing. <laughs> he'll be the right. Oh, that. he got real damn bally like, like that. You what? Oh, <laughs> he said, the Get him down here. Thing. Get him down here. I'll see how fucking funny he is. How, 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 how <laughs> funny of me was saying. You were out funny. Yeah. Oh, I'd love yeah. to see that. How funny oh, off. You were cooking. You were cooking, were you? Yeah. Oh, Did you get him down? Did you have a funny <laughs> off? Nah, he's shit. <laughs> he's shit. <laughs> <laughs> but I do remember that. He's a he's a nightmare as well. He's a wind up, wind up. Yeah, yeah, he's right in the mix of it all the time. But I love it. <laughs> Who else did we have in our team? Cause, yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd say I'd say he was he was he was weird. Um, Ori Sanchez. Oh, what a nutter! Oh, who's that? <coughs> Sanchez, Sanchez, the manager. The manager. He, he, got, he got the gig for like about six months, didn't he? He came in once, right? I always remember this. I don't know. I don't know if I told you, but. I was injured, right? Going for a bad patch. He goes, Jim, come in the office, we'll have a chat. So I'm thinking, like, can't ask me about this and that. I'm like, he goes, what do you think these skirting balls? They need to paint, didn't they? <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> what, mate? Yeah. He's like, yeah, I'm thinking of doing this deck off, bit of this, bit of that. And he's t- talking to me about getting the place decorated. Mate. <laughs> just because it's. Does he know that you used to do, like, I, do you I, I don't and know, decorate? but it's just a bit odd. And then he had all these. Do you remember he used to put all, like, one touch finishes in the yeah. bot and all these stuff around. He's just a bit odd, stats. weren't he? Yeah, yeah. He was stat man, like yeah. massive yeah. on his stats, weren't he? Yeah. Remember, but yeah, that's what I can remember him. He's just odd. <laughs> would, you, <laughs> would you know what? Funny enough, you're going about the skating board. The, remember the, somebody was painting Maunders' office? Remember? There's decorators all over the gaff. <laughs> 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 but, what, the skate hole going on? Like, yeah, it's the problem when you buy an old property like a cottage, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, we, had, we had this fella at liaison officer like, if I was talking to him on the train on the way down here for enough Mark Maunders he Mark Maunders uh, he was what like, was he? he was like a liaison officer yeah but he, so he, what, he, was, he was one of them kind of maybe them gigs where it, it works in a Premier League club and all that yeah. <clears throat> like where you can you know, you, you he tell, was funny though Maunders yeah he was all like yeah he was sound yeah. no, like where you just kind of organise and play like lives like Penfold out of Danger Mass yeah, yeah. yeah. he was, he was in basically <laughs> so he, he had this like little like a uh, little office thing like a fucking kennel wasn't he yeah. like just tucked away with like a big lean to roof you'd fucking be in there like that you, you couldn't stand up straight in could you so I was there in there one day and um, it must have been like when they were doing a bit of painting deck like you were saying obviously um, um, Sanchez has given the old kennel and that been that they're just going balls <laughs> So then, there's a there's a what's his name? There's a um, a roller there no, with no no to say with the white painting. How and do you remember all this? He remembers you know so remember? much oh, detail. Man, it was so funny. So Mons is just standing there, and you went to him. Did you have a tell you we were painting the decorator? And Mons going, oh I yeah yeah. And Jimmy just kind of got like rolled it right up with loads of paint and she went fuck off <laughs> right down his head and right down his face and, <laughs> and his <laughs> and his top. <laughs> yeah. And, I, I remember just like being screaming, laughing, going in shock, and just like, like just bouncing off the wall, screaming. And Morns just standing there, like we just paint off the top really of his like, head. All he needed would be an extra curb, he'd fit right in. Yeah. <laughs> And he just run out there and mourned. How did you forget that? What mourned could do. I used to be a nightmare. Oh, we've got off so lately being on this podcast. I only done because he was there. And then I one think, day we'd I all think, sit yeah. around the room and tell it. And yeah. today, <laughs> today, is, today that is that day. Yeah. Yeah. Did you go Vegas together as well? Yeah. And Dennis Rodman wanted to be your mate. Oh, that was yeah, Your mate. Was that, right? that, that, that was odd. That weird was weird, wasn't it? <laughs> what happened? Who's Dennis Rodman? The basketball player, you know, the sort yeah. of dresses in drag. Oh, the one who goes to North Korea. It is he... Yeah, he goes to... There's a basketball player who goes to North Korea. He's just hanging out with Kim Jong-un. <laughs> really? It might, well, it might, might I don't be, know. Yeah. Stuff. Probably is, yeah. But he's Got a bit of an extrovert <coughs> or make-up and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So we're, 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 we're gone out, haven't we, the night before. Yeah. And um, we were in this hotel. So what, what were you there for? Just like a, <coughs> just a holiday or a... a like yeah, just, a... just, just, just going full blast, weren't we? Yeah. Just going full laugh with the lads. Yeah, no, he was funny. So we're in this, um, we're in this like, well, every hotel's a party hotel. 
But in 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 our hotels, the Palms, they've got like an um, it's like it's like a party on a Friday, ditch Friday right, or something yeah. called. So we've obviously gone out on a Thursday night. Now we go to these parties in Vegas, right? And everyone just tries to look a million dollars. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're like they're all buff, aren't they? They look like. Like, you know, like they're all ripped, they've all got like boss like kind of like shorts on and, and everything's expensive and the old it's all like about a fucking image, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it, it probably kicks off about like midday, don't it? I don't know what time I mean you got in. Because we've been out all night. We and you fucking walks in the hotel about two o'clock in the afternoon <laughs> from just being on <clears throat> on it, just mad one. <laughs> like So we've got a blazer on, haven't we? Yeah, it's all like, like our, our jeans on like proper like and shoes and shirt and all that. So then we like we walk into the reception. And you can just see the party going on, like through the through the doors. Went, ah, fuck, when you go upstairs, let's go straight out there. So he walks out, and like everyone's trying to get attention, but we just got it because we just stumbled through everywhere in our like jeans, like black shirts on, like black shoes and all that. And it was like, what are these fucking maniacs doing? It was like, <laughs> everyone's like, hundred degrees. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So we're just walking through now, and like everyone's like looking at us. So he walks up to the bar, don't me, so like big bucket of fucking beers, and if I goes, where are you sitting? And we're going, oh, I don't know, yeah, we'll find somewhere. So every bed had been taken, hadn't he? And all, all he had left was these two plastic chairs, <laughs> like, just right in the middle of the calf, right? How so, you are? Don't you mean him? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else had kind of gone home, really, hadn't they? <laughs> I thought you were out. I thought the old team had gone no, into no. everyone's looking at me. No, so it was just being him. So then he walks along, and then he sits down, and he's sitting there, and you just fucking melt. Like, it was 100 degrees, he was, was roasting on it. <laughs> So bad then, decision. As soon as you sat down, you went, "What a shocking decision!" <laughs> this is. Oh, so then what we done was we took our shoes off. Like it was, it was like, like, it was like a bit of a, right, like a bit of a Hardy scene, <laughs> wasn't it? And like yeah. took our shirts off, folded them up, took our jeans off, our, our, our shoes and socks, put them there and all that. So we're sitting, sitting there in our, in our undies, yeah, in a catch, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just sitting there like a big so bucket of beers. So the fella comes over, his big bucket of beers and that. And then it was it was getting off quick, wasn't it? So we yeah. grabbed some beer next to us. Yeah, give some of that suntan lotion. We just like <laughs> punch everything, mate. We. So get a bit of suntan lotion on as well. So everyone's laughing at us, aren't they? And you've been out <clears> for about 24 hours at this point. Yeah, you know what I mean? It was, yeah. it was a mad one, wasn't it? Yeah. So then we ordered um, these burgers because we were starving. So the, these like mini burgers come, but it was like a big tray of them, wasn't That's it? Right. That's right. So like the balance in this big bucket of beers there and this big fucking tray of burgers there. <laughs> <clears throat> So Dennis Rodman just walks past and just stands out in front of us, doesn't he? He's like looking at us. And he had the big, he, had the, he was mad as well, he had the big velour purple tracksuit on, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. so, so he must have been scorching as well. And he just went, you used to look like Alden Kumar. Like, like there's some like American film about these fellas trying to find a burger joint or something. Alden Kumar, yeah. yeah. He used to look Alden Kumar, so it looked up like that. He's fucking massive, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Big nose oh, ring, didn't yeah, he? Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, I'm is like, that who's he? I didn't even know who he was. He's like, like, Dennis fucking Rodman. Right, yeah. <laughs> so I'm looking on the dial and went, no, nah, then, Dennis, lad, you're all right, mate. Like that, and he just did. <laughs> he didn't understand the way, did he? <laughs> I'm like, wait, where's all Stephen? And Dennis saw his telephone and talk to us. And I was like, all right, Dennis, mate, what's happening, lad? Good oh, drink after this, And he just, like, looked like that. Just, like, blank. <laughs> he was like, he didn't know what was going yeah. on, did he? But that, that was quality. Like, that is a good, good tip. Well, put it like to them, because you like, everyone else is so worried about what they look like. And, like you just two just obviously strolled in there, didn't give a shit. Yeah, All of a sudden, a couple of chairs out of yeah. and he probably thought, good you too. Good holiday, that. <laughs> Dennis Rodman. <laughs> laugh on it. Oh, dear. Did you go to Abu Dhabi with us? No. Nah. I was a year after. Right, yeah. It's meant to be absolutely brilliant. Oh, uh, usual. <laughs> they were all train, usual training, but you got a big bucket of beers on the side, yeah. didn't you? Yeah. Fucking we, brilliant. Well, they got us. I don't know what. They took us over there, and then we were supposed to like do like a little bit of training and stuff, and yeah. involve some kids and stuff, and that was that. So then we're in this. Um, we're in this, um, this fucking big fucking massive hotel. It's the biggest hotel I've ever been in. Yeah. Everyone had segways to get around. That's how big it was. So was, um, I remember it was just a booze up really, and. We, we goes out in the night time and I remember thinking yo there was me Zat um, Chris Coleman and Dave Bestens in the taxi on the way home and he was funny he was funny called me he, he, he'd be having a drink and he'd be standing next to you as you're drinking, he just go fuck off and elbow you in the face. He did that. Coleman. He's massive. He right? was massive, like he was a really. Big, oh, I was massive, one big, big lump. Yeah. I remember you'd always see him walking. He'd come out the shower, wouldn't he? And yeah. he'd just be walking down the corridor like a big fucking buffalo. Well, he was a fucking. <laughs> yeah. He was a big. He had lump, some like. bowl, didn't he? Oh, he had a proper bowl on him. Yeah. Serious. Yeah. Serious. Raised himself, didn't he? Yeah, he proper yeah. having himself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember once Benitez was. Um, I was on the. I was injured. But he said, come sit on the bench. And um, 
Liverpool were there and I remember Volts was going down the wing or something and Benitez half went on the pitch and started like verbally in his players. Mm. And at Fulham, you have to walk across the pitch. Yeah. Cookie, mate. <laughs> just pulled him in his Welsh hat. And I remember he just verbaled him all the way off saying, never talk to any of my players like that again. Mm. Benitez yeah. was like, mm, little old man. <laughs> <laughs> Cookie's gonna eat him. I was like, oh, oh don't upset him, mate. That was an IT boss. Yeah, but he was a unit. So he he watches them. So we're in, we're in, so we're in the taxi now. So we're in the, um, we're in the, the, the club, and he's just elbowing you and stuff. He's like, fuck off, Cookie. You know what I mean? Like, fucking have that, you little prick. He's saying. So, so he's kind of he's doing it to everyone. So me, me, him, Zat, and Dave Beston's in the car now, in the taxi on the way home. Yeah. So Cookie's in the back. He went, Do you know what, right? He said, we'd, us two had fucking batter you two. And me and Zat went, do you reckon, yeah? He goes, oh, he said, no, no doubt, we'd fucking volley you. So I'm going, all right then, Sound. We'll fucking have it when, when we get back to the hotel. He loves it, doesn't and he? And he, uh, he goes, Sound, okay, Sound. So Dave Besson's chirping up as well. So, you know, everybody can't find <laughs> a little <laughs> fraggle. <frag on. laughs> no, Dave Besson's like six foot fucking yeah, five, but he's, he's a bit old then, what he yeah, does. Yeah, he's gone. Yeah, but so, what, what, start, what started it? Or was he just like just looking at you like, I reckon I could fucking yeah, cool. it's, just, oh, it's, like that, it's yeah, an act yeah. for mouthing. Like you and Zach, two of the biggest geezers in the squad maybe as well. So, so it's like so, yeah. he's yeah. asserting his dominance. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, if it gets back that he's yeah. bashed up you and Zach, he's like the big man, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, I suppose yeah. so. So then we get to the um, we get to the reception now, and um, he says, "Right, okay, you know what our rooms are. We'll fucking have it in in, in about like ten minutes. Just make yourselves <laughs> down, make your way down now. It's like quite like sound sound. Yeah, they're warm up in. So then um, me and me and Zach are going, yeah, we're fucking tearing into these. You know what I mean? We just get stuck into them, just fucking knock fuck about, knock fuck out of them and that. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? That's like six foot six, and he's just a big yeah. fucking big lump in it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, so then now me and me and Zach are walking down now. So we go into one of the rooms, we're talking to one of the lads and that. And they best us outside. We didn't notice, but lucky, well, fucking lucky for me, Zach walks out first. And right, let's go and find these now. Do you know what I mean? So as Zach walks out, bears his hand hiding like in the corridor, but as close to the wall as possible. And as Zach walks out, he just goes fuck off and jabs him like that. Right, Jeez. just chins him. <laughs> But then gets gets on his bike, so means that must have f- fucking reeled him in by about four steps. We just pounced on him, right? <laughs> Doing him bad. Pounced him, pounced on him, fucking grabbing him, fucking like the best of- Yeah, just like oh, got him on the floor, just fucking beating him up, right? Like you know, in his ribs and his legs and his ass and all that. So he half scrambles away and he scrambles into one of the lads' rooms, and I can remember we had him against the wall and we just filled him in in, the, in his back. And I can always remember him. He was like trying to climb the wall. I'm thinking, where the fuck are you going? There's nothing up there for you, mate. Look at me. So then he comes back outside again. And we're outside Cookie's room. And he's banging on Cookie's room. Fucking get out here and all that. I'm, I'm trying to take care of these two, right? <laughs> so in the morning, like Cookie never come out. So so we just fucking, we, we carried on filling him in. And what we done was, we, we, we one of us hit him. And he said, ah, my hand, my hand. So we broke his thumb. And he goes, you fucking thumbs killing me, thumbs killing. So the guy going, fuck off, you're out of country. He boots him and he fucks off down. He fucks off down the corridor, right? So we goes back in and we start like boozing and stuff. So then in the morning, we're all kind of sitting in out down the pool. He's black and blue. Oh, mate, you've never seen nothing like it. In the morning, we comes, we're lying there and he comes walking behind. He goes, look what you've done to me. And he just turned around and he just stood there and he was... Black and blue, and I'm talking proper black bruises all over his body, right? And um, and his thumb was massive. I, said, I, broke, I broke my thumb. He said, fucking, yeah. God. He said, I broke my thumb. He's the coach. Yeah. Yeah. I know he's a fucking coach. He's just coach. punching his players. The manager. So then, <laughs> fucking hell. So then Cookie said, Cookie's standing there like like and they were on the booze early on, right? Cookie's standing there pissing himself, no, because he's with best and best, like limping along and all that. And Cookie said, mate, he said. I'd ordered some like um, burger and chips. He said it just arrived before you fucking started kicking off outside. He said I could hear bears be- be- on the door. He said I just slowly walked up to the door. I looked through my people, <laughs> seeing what was going on. The three years, the two years, knocking fuck out and right next to me people. I said, Back down, sat down. Now you're right. Burger and chips looks a bit better than that. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh. 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 I was on the. Uh, I was on the motorway driving down to London and I'd left Hull and you were still there with Ashby. And he phones you one, he phones you right. I'm in the car and and he just I answered the phone and he's screaming. That was oh, that was man. the first thing. Was he's so screaming funny. on the phone. And I'm thinking, oh right, what's going on here? Do you know what I mean? And he goes, Tom, Tom, I've had to phone you, I've had to phone you. So like that, what's going on? 
Is Ashley, Ashby has just been fucking chin. Ash, Ash, what's up? He thinks he's really hard. So what's happened? The captain of Hull. The we used to knock about together. Us three, me, Tony and him. Oh, Ian Ash. And he used to think he's really hard, like all, always. Like, just thought he's hard. <laughs> And it was um, the fight. Who was fighting that night? Who was it? You, you said it was in Manchester, wasn't it? David so. A. Was it? I'm sure it's David A. was fighting. <laughs> yeah. And we're getting all changed and all that. And he said, ah, oh, Jim, we've got to have, like, wind our necks in tonight. You know what they're like when all the blokes go and watch the boxing and they'll think they're rocky. You're going to end up getting one on the chin. I was like, shut up, I'm all right. Yeah. Sort yourself out. And he's like, I'm telling you, sort yourself out. So we just come in that, like, literally had that chat. Yeah. Come out in the lift. This bloke's going, Jim, can I have your autograph? So we're having, like, uh, and. Ash has gone, all right, mate, you settled down. No, it was a photo, wasn't it? Was it? Do you, do you photo, want to yeah. photo? You said you don't mind having a photo of people, do you? <laughs> no, but Ash being him, because he's a bit, oh, mate, settled down like that, so he's parked up straight away. We haven't even, no, we haven't even no, done that. No. Do you not remember your own stories? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, that's, no, that's no. what he said. And his name was Franny, I always remember him. No, the, the fella said, didn't the fella say, can I have a photo? And Ash has gone, and it's to you, and he's gone to Ash, can you take that for us? Sorry, oh. yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, he did. Yeah. You mean, so can that, I take... That, that's why Ash is like, going yeah. to the young... Can I take that for well. you? That's right. And yeah. Ash has gone... He sort of left a bit on him. He sort of went... Oh, you take a photo, yeah. What do you mean? I ain't a fucking photographer, mate. Um, and his Franny. I always remember his name. He went, do you know who I am? And all that. And Ash went, don't give a fuck. Franny, just, this little kid just went, Mum, have that on the chin! <laughs> But it's all camera. We're down in the foyer now. Yeah. But it's all sky cameras because that's where they're all meeting to do press conferences <laughs> and all that. And Ash just took one on the chin, stumbled back, and run. Like, <laughs> ran off. I'm like, wow, this is the best I've ever seen. You're still getting a picture to him. And he's run. This bloke is at five foot. <laughs> Chinned him. But all I can remember, I'm like, ah, oh, mate, that's brilliant. He's like, but that's your mate. I said, no, you don't understand. <laughs> he goes around giving it a big one all the time. You've put him on his toes, chinned him, and he shit yourself, right? What's your name? He goes, oh, I'm Franny. I said, I'll remember that name forever. <laughs> forever. I look out the doors. He's looking through the glass doors. He's going, come on, come on, right? So I go, go, like that. I come running out, going, there's loads of them, run! <laughs> he's up the road, going, oh, oh. It's the quickest I've ever seen him go. He's, I remember he's got his Gregsons on. Remember the brogues that used yeah. to wear? He's slipping all over. <laughs> I'm in a taxi! Loads of them, they're all gypsies. He's up, he's up. Really? I said, hurry up. He said, what's the matter? I said, I'm only joking. He's like, you fucking bastard. <laughs> I'm not in the car, Tony, you never guess what, Ashby <laughs> shit his pants. We're in the, we've got in the living room, met you in the living room, didn't I? No, no, I, I, was, I, was, on the, I was on the motorway, I was going to London, oh, but, then, not, but, oh, then right. he, oh, but then <laughs> Ash goes, yeah, kiss the fucking phone, and he starts kicking off on me, don't he? he goes, what are you fucking laughing at? I thought I'd meet you that night, did I not meet you that night? No, no. just on the phone? Oh, but I'm going, I'm on the fucking motorway, I'm like the M1, mate, and you're giving me stick, and you've been shindered on the way. He goes, listen, you don't be fucking laughing. He's lying, he's, he's like that. And he went, Ash, tell the truth now. Tell the truth. You fucking, you tried to give it to him and he chinned I you. I swear on my life, he shit. Why did he, did he run though because of all the cameras and he didn't want to get filmed fighting? That's what he said. Yeah. He said, yeah. That's what he said. But, but to think that, to to get hit, to think that, to run, nah, you need yeah. more time yeah. to assess that. Yeah. 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 I said, yeah. look, I don't mind if you go, <laughs> it didn't happen like that. <laughs> you got it bumped down and off. <laughs> <laughs> the is at the door. <laughs> I said, nah, not going with it. That's funny. You fat tramp, you got <laughs> <laughs> Still to this day, oh. I'm on him. No, I'm not. Oh. So funny. Any, anything else or should we, should we wrap it wrap it up? That was brilliant. Thanks, Tone. Um, have you got um, a charm for Tony in your challenge um, at the beginning of the podcast? That's right, a charm for Tony. Uh, why? Well, I was struggling with the first line, but this is me... <laughs> Incorporating all Jimmy's stuff. Go on, so I've got like Do you want to ask the you'd go well yeah, if you once once you learn these two lines and we can we can we all can join get in into that. It. So so, um He's cooler than honey G You know he's gonna save the penalty Look at the size of this man <laughs> He's gonna cut the size of a cock <laughs> 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 well, that's why you're number one <laughs> thanks for listening it's been a yeah, cheers, guys. Thanks, brilliant man. guest again thanks, thanks Tony cheers. very funny stuff yeah, enjoy that, that <coughs> very really much thanks, um, yeah, I've been Rob Beckett thanks Tony Warner Ian Smith Jimmy Bullard um, and we're done um, keep sending um, the best chance you've ever heard to at Dave Magic Sponge or hashtag Magic Sponge um, and uh, whacking some comments on mm. iTunes and um, yeah we'll be back with another, another guest soon cheers guys bye bye
The Magic Sponge is a dot 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 production for Dave, hosted by Rob Beckett, Jimmy Billard, and Ian Smith.